the LG 5K Ultra Fine Display is Apple's answer to MacBook Pro customers who wish to connect their notebooks to an external display. After reportedly getting out of the standalone monitor business, LG's offerings, which are available in 4K and 5K varieties, might be the next best option. The fact that you can connect a single Thunderbolt 3 cable from your MacBook Pro to the LG Ultrafine 5K display is quite compelling. Not only will this provide display output, but it will also deliver the necessary power up to 85 watts to keep your MacBook Pro 13 or 15 inch variety charged. We recently got our hands on the LG Ultrafine 5K display. So the question stands to be asked, is it a good choice for MacBook Pro owners? Watch your video for the answer. The most compelling thing about this display, of course, is its screen. At 5K, you get 5120 by 2880 native resolution or 2560 by 1440 when using retina mode pixel doubled. In other words, it's capable of delivering the same amount of on-screen real estate as the Thunderbolt display, but it's retina enabled. That makes it a whole lot easier on the eyes than the Thunderbolt display. Apple starts users off with the default 2560 by 1440 pixel doubled retina resolution, but users of course have the option of customizing the display resolution via macOS's system preferences. That said, I find that the default resolution is the perfect balance of real estate, asset size, and crispness. The 27-inch glossy IPS display provides wide viewing angles and supports P3 wide color support just like the new MacBook Pro, along with panels that feature 500 nits of brightness. Unlike its smaller 4K brethren, the 5K display is also 10-bit, which will be great for serious video editing, photo editing, and color grading. Like all modern Apple displays, the LG display is glossy. However, I found that it did a decent job of rejecting glare from light sources in front of the unit while in use. Using Final Cut Pro 10, I'm impressed by how tack sharp all of the on-screen assets are. I can view a 1080p video in full resolution in a relatively small window with tons of app real estate to spare. 4K videos can even be viewed in full resolution, but obviously with less app real estate. As one would expect from a good IPS display, it's got decent off-axis viewing angles. Color shift, while still noticeable at times depending on the on-screen content, is kept at a reasonable level. That said, the panel doesn't seem to be as good as the MacBook Pro's panel in this regard. Black levels are less than impressive with this display, and I notice backlight bleed on some of the edges when viewing what should have been a completely black screen. But honestly, how often are we actually staring at a completely black screen? It's not often for most users, and I don't think it's something that should prevent you from considering this display. LG's ultrafine 5K display supports wide color with a P3 color gamut and that 500 nits of brightness. It's really bright. The same specs that are found on the new MacBook Pro. I find that it does an admirable job of matching my 13-inch MacBook Pro's display in these areas. There's also an ambient light sensor included on the top bezel next to the camera, but the current version of macOS that I'm using 10.12.2 doesn't seem to support automatic brightness features as of yet. Here's hoping that the display will gain automatic brightness support in future versions of macOS. Like with most displays, the built-in speakers aren't suitable replacements for dedicated speakers. However, the sound quality is probably a little bit better than you might imagine from a pair of down-firing stereo speakers. The speakers are located underneath the bottom bezel and feature a clean-looking four-port design. Obviously, the biggest deficiency when it comes to sound quality on the LG Ultrafine is on the low end, but the mids also suffer from muffled sound. The speakers are good enough to get by in a pinch, but you'll definitely want to use headphones or a standalone speaker system if sound quality is of any concern. The LG monitor comes out of the box with its base connected, which means that there are no tools that you'll need to use. It's ready to be connected to your MacBook Pro immediately after unboxing. The LG display is comprised primarily of black plastic, which is a stark departure from the aluminum featured on Apple's now discontinued Thunderbolt display. It's an understated design for the most part, although there is a small LG logo on the bottom bezel. The base of the stand is made out of metal, which lends it a solid foundation. However, everything else, from the stem to the display housing and bezel, is made out of dark plastic. The good news is that the build quality is a step above the typical display, and the plastic isn't as brittle as the material used on some of the cheaper models that you'll encounter. That said, I found that the display is somewhat prone to wobble, especially when the height is adjusted to higher levels. Granted, Apple's Thunderbolt display lacked height adjustment at all, but the LG display is a noticeable step backward in the area of desktop stability. The display's up and down pivot, which goes up to 4.3 inches, is relatively smooth, but it's still a far cry from what I'd like to imagine that Apple would have produced 
if this display was designed in-house at Cupertino. It also features positive and negative tilt to position the screen at an ideal viewing angle. The angle adjustments aren't as smooth as they were on the Thunderbolt display, which isn't exactly surprising, but it's still several notches above the typical cheap monitor. Although you can't orient the display vertically like you can with some monitors, you can adjust the horizontal level of the monitor head slightly, but this is a feature that's only to be used when the unit is resting on a slightly uneven surface, and it's not something that you would typically use. The ultrafine display doesn't sport any physical buttons or joysticks or anything of the sort, which means all adjustments are performed via macOS. There's not even a power button to power the display on or off. When you connect the Thunderbolt 3 cable, the display comes on, and when you disconnect the cable, the display turns off. Putting the MacBook Pro to sleep immediately puts the LG display to sleep as well. Think of this display as a true extension to your MacBook Pro and not so much a separate peripheral. The LG Ultrafine 5K display comes with a power cable, a lengthy 6 foot plus long Thunderbolt 3 cable, and a Visa cover. The display stand can be detached via a switch on the rear of the unit which allows users to mount the stand on a Visa arm using the provided Visa cover. And since the display features an integrated power supply, there's no power brick to fool with which helps promote a clean looking setup. Unfortunately, the display is quite anemic when it comes to additional ports, and this is where it fails to live up to the comparatively generous Thunderbolt display. Outside of the one Thunderbolt 3 port, which is used to connect your 2016 MacBook Pro, LG only provides three downstream USB-C ports, and these ports are USB 3.1 Gen 1 only, which means a maximum of 5 gigabits per second. That's right, there are no USB-A ports, no SD card slot, and the USB-C ports are glorified USB 3.0 ports. The port situation is somewhat disappointing. The most obvious reason is that the new MacBook Pro itself is lacking in ports, so it would have been nice to have the ultrafine display help pick up the slack a bit. But not only that, the ports that are there are slow by today's standards. Since DisplayPort 1.2, which is bundled with Thunderbolt 3, only supports a maximum resolution of 4K at 60Hz, LG and Apple had to work around this limitation. It's similar to how Apple had to use its own custom timing controller for its 5K iMac, but exact details have yet to be revealed as to what LG had to do to make this display a reality. From what I can gather, it looks like this monitor is using multiple streams and stitching them together to make one 5K image. This becomes apparent when closing the lid on the MacBook Pro as the monitor briefly flickers and shows two separate images. The lack of an extra Thunderbolt 3 port means that daisy chaining other devices to this monitor is not a possibility. You'll need to either put the LG display at the tail end of the chain or connect to it with its own standalone Thunderbolt 3 cable. And what if you're a 15 inch MacBook Pro user wishing to drive dual 5K displays? Well, you'll need to use two Thunderbolt 3 cables coming from each side of the MacBook Pro to drive such a setup. And that can look a little messy. The display may be lacking in ports, but you do get some built-in amenities that might otherwise have required additional peripherals. On the top of the bezel, you'll find an HD camera with indicator light and a USB mic, which will help the display handle FaceTime calls without any additional equipment. Although the inclusion of a camera and other equipment increases the size of the upper bezel slightly, cue the five head comments, it is a considerable plus to have a built-in camera and a microphone to facilitate voice and video calls. Some people will loathe the unbalanced, top-heavy look of the bezel, but it's not something that really bothered me much during actual usage. When connected to the LG Ultrafine display, users can adjust screen brightness directly from macOS's system preferences. This means that there's no need to finagle with manual buttons or joysticks just to modify the brightness or volume, for instance. And if you want to adjust the brightness of the Ultrafine display from your MacBook Pro's keyboard, I find that holding the control key while pressing the brightness buttons can get you by in a pinch. The LG Ultrafine 5K display is a solid offering that's a decent purchase at $974. It's still expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's much better than the $1299 initial asking price, and this display is on sale for the next few months, so you want to get in quickly if you want to take advantage of that. And really, the only other standalone 5K display available for purchase is one from Dell that's significantly pricier, and it doesn't use Thunderbolt 3. You won't find the same design and polish that you may be used to from an Apple branded monitor, but LG's offering is generally better than the typical third party monitor. The one cable solution, the integration with FaceTime, being able to charge your MacBook Pro at full speed makes it a good solution for MacBook Pro owners who want something that just works. 
but some of you will probably be disappointed that the display lacks more port options and the lack of any own device buttons for brightness control is a little annoying until Apple provides a better software solution in Mac OS. LG also offers a 4K version of its ultrafine display as well, but the 4K model lacks support for Thunderbolt 3, lacks a 10-bit panel, lacks a camera, and only provides 60 watts of power for charging, which means that it won't have enough power to charge a 15-inch MacBook Pro at full speed. And to add insult to injury, the 4K model is only capable of supporting USB 2.0 speeds on its downstream USB ports, which means that you'll only want to connect things like mice, keyboards, or other low bandwidth accessories. Personally speaking, if I had to choose between these two displays and money weren't an absolute deciding factor, I'd go with the 5K version hands down. LG's 5K display is currently available for order on Apple's online store, but ship dates and availability may vary. Also, if you are planning on purchasing this display, make sure you get in early before March 31st because the price is going to go back up to $1299. So at $974, it's a pretty good deal right now. What do you guys think about LG's new ultrafine 5K display? Do you have any questions or comments? Please let me know down below. I'll be sure to hang out there and get back with you guys as much as I can. Also, please, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.